back to the vlog. So, um, this vlog is going to be a little different and hopefully it's not scary and horrible, but we are awaiting Hurricane Florence. It is Thursday, but we're getting ready to go outside. Cody's outside somewhere, but the wind started picking up this morning. It hasn't started raining yet, but I was just going to show y'all, let you hear a little bit of the wind and kind of give like a overview of our backyard before all the rain comes. Um, hopefully we don't have a lot of trees down. Thankfully we don't have really any trees next to our house except one. And, um, so we'll just have to, we'll just have to see, but let's go. You want to go outside? Wind. It's not, it's not incredibly, the wind's not incredibly strong just yet. Uh, but it is pretty windy out here. If it looks a little foggy, I think it's because the house was so cold and I walked outside and my camera sort of fogged up a little bit. We did turn the air conditioning down quite a bit just in case the power went out. Then it will kind of be already like a lot cooler in the house than normal. So. Alright y'all, it is Friday morning. It's 9.32. We lost power around 2 a.m. Um but we're all good it's just raining and very windy it's like it's the rain's looking like it's doing this it's going straight across i don't know why cody came in here and opened the blinds because i really don't want to look outside i just want to be oblivious to what's going on i'm about to get me a snack or something because the power's out, so um, we do have like sandwich stuff, and I can make a bowl of cereal if I want. We do have a generator, but Cody didn't set it up because he was hoping that we could return it and we wouldn't need it. They didn't have the one that he wanted, he wanted to get the dual fuel ones, um, but that's the only the, the one we got was the only one that they had in Lowe's. Um, so he got it just in case, but, um, he did like set up the cord or whatever for it. Um, I just don't think he took it out of the box just yet. You can't return it if you put gas in it, so he didn't do all of that. But if we're here for a long time, we'll definitely take that sucker out of that box and it'll just be okay. We'll be fine with that generator. It won't matter much. I didn't sleep all that great. Um, my phone woke me up doing that. doing that um well doing that emergency thing that woo 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 so that woke me up one time um we're trying to get the dogs to potty in that little pool i don't know if they're going to you okay lady hi come here go say hey okay them's the pretty girls yeah can't see lady's eyes lost her hair bow this morning I might have to find her another one to put it up. She has on a sweater because we had the air conditioner down to 68 in here. So it was, it was nice and cool. Plus, she has always had long hair. She's not used to the short hair. And she was like sort of trembling. I really don't want to look out that window. You ready to put the blind down? Let's put the blind down. Update, our tree has broken. Well, we just discovered the, whatever this is over here, the doorway is leaking. We have come to this. <laughs> these are some board games from my parents' house. Mama was trying to get rid of these. Can you believe that? <laughs> Me and my brother used to play board games all the time. This is super old Monopoly. Thank God, who wants to be a millionaire? All right, everybody. So, Paige is scared to death to come show you guys. But it's kind of died off now. But a while ago, it was very, very bad. The water blowing off the house was way worse than that. But it's blowing pretty good now. I mean, it is getting down. We found another leak. It's coming in so hard from that 
way I guess it's just coming in through I don't know the trim this is a hot mess just a little update for you um, there's quite a bit of water in there and it's very dirty looking water <laughs> I just switched them over and put that pot there and then I added that down there you can see how much that one has been leaking not as much I guess that's going to give us the push we need to get something done to this entertainment center because oh <laughs> uh, yeah there's that I don't think I've there hasn't really been any I just noticed this little drip over here so I'm going to wipe that up and probably put something there too this is real life right here spot treatment squeaking dog toys in the background and Hurricane Florence beating up against my window <laughs> But I just wanted to have like a little chat. Um, I know by the time y'all see this, the hurricane will be over by the time I can actually like sit down, edit this, have the service to, or have, have the power I need to be able to edit the whole vlog. And there's a huge difference in this hurricane and Hurricane Matthew. And um, those are really the only two that I've ever had to like really deal with if you've never dealt with a hurricane before um then i don't know if you'll ever like really get it um but i have a huge fear of water um i don't know why i have such a huge fear of water and hurricane matthew just pushed me over the edge with my fear of water so that's why i'm just so scared of hurricane a huge difference in this this hurricane and um, Matthew back in 16 is my relationship with God and I think that has been a tremendous change um, not saying I didn't have a relationship back then but I wasn't really pursuing a relationship I wasn't um, trying to spend more time with him and study his word more and just be a better Christian and just just strive to be Christ-like in all aspects of life and I feel like that has been the most calming thing and that has just given me the most peace to know that um, God is with me and I've always known that but for some reason I'm just at peace this time I'm not like extremely scared now of course you hear the roaring winds outside and you hear those gusts every once in a while but um and it kind of makes your stomach churn a little bit um but I it's a huge difference and of course we're not out in it like we were in Matthew that was the hugest thing we were out and about and we were trying to get home and um that was just really terrible if you never got to watch those vlogs if you if you don't like emotional things if you don't want to see me cry don't watch them I'm just going to tell you that now because they were emotional I can't even I haven't been able to watch them since I put them up I don't plan on watching them because that's just a part of my life that I got through. God got us through it. And y'all, when I tell you God got us through it, we had so many people praying for us because we heard of so many people that were dying, just traveling on the road because roads were washed out and they wouldn't know it because the water was just flowing over the road. So you would never know that there was no road there. We heard so many stories and we had to travel so far to get home and we only had not even I think it was like a quarter tank of gas and for some reason that needle never moved and we were at a standstill for probably two or three hours at one point in time and that gas needle never moved so I know that was God and I know he had his hands of protection over us then because he has a work for us to do and I feel like he still has a work for us to do now so I feel like he's going to definitely keep us safe um, we just have to continue to pray. I've prayed all over this house. Every time I feel a little anxious and I just feel a little uneasy, I start praying or I start singing in the eye of the storm or I start singing fear is a liar or I start singing I choose joy. I have all these songs in my head. I'm just like, I just start, just start just lightly singing them to myself or singing them in my head. It make me feel so much better. So if you're dealing with anxiety um, or you're depressed or something is just too big for you to deal with and you don't know how to deal with it um just know that god is there i i've never wanted to throw um the bible in anybody's face but if you don't know i am a christian and um i hope that y'all see that through my vlogs and just through everything that i do i hope that's very evident um i am still a human um, and I fail a lot of times, um, but 
just know that if you ever are struggling with something know that god is there know that he loves you and he will take care of you if you just let him um but yeah i'm going to continue cleaning i had a hot mess going on in the bathroom that i have not cleaned and we're not we won't even talk about how long but that's the one thing that you can do without power it's clean the difference in florence and other hurricanes is the fact that it's moving so slow i think they said it was like five miles an hour which is just sitting over us and just producing all of that rain and all of this wind so if it would just speed up some just go ahead and get out <laughs> that would be great but we're just gonna sit tight continue to play some board games okay we have made it to day two um last night was not very bad um i took a melatonin <laughs> and i knocked out cody said he doesn't know how i slept that hard and with a blanket on because he said he was about to burn up all night as you see there's no water up in the yard i think everybody was so worried that we were going to flood after i told them that we weren't but um yeah this is this is how things are looking no different really of course i'm not looking any different still rocking the same spot treatment now this is a new application of the spot treatment but well, i know one thing when i get done with hurricane florence my face is going to be spotless what you think cody i think so baby. um see these cheese yeah, puffs I think, I think they expired I <laughs> you're just pitiful you can't find nothing so the leaking has stopped, um, which is great. So those spots that were leaking, they haven't leaked anymore, I don't think. Is that thing got any water in it? No? Yeah, so I emptied all of that out yesterday and it hasn't been refilled since, so that's a really good sign. We got the generator all plugged up, so we got the fridge cooling off right now, and we really couldn't run like so much off of it. He said it was only like a, I don't even know what he said it was, but I know we couldn't run that much. And so the stove and the oven and stuff like that were just weren't going to happen. So instant pot. I've used this thing one time and I made some soup or something. I can't remember what I made. But we had these chunky soups and I really didn't want to eat these cold. I would have if I had to. Uh, but yes, I'm making. So what I so what I did was I picked out ones that were pretty similar um, in the cabinet. So we had a sirloin burger with country vegetables, beef with country vegetables, and then steak and potato. All of them were pretty much the same. I wanted to add in some more veggies, so I added in a can of sweet peas and corn. And I accidentally opened up a can with cream corn, but I'll eat that. I'll eat that cold. I love corn. So on the saute mode, it's just getting everything all nice and married together. I'll probably even, probably even throw in some seasoning. But y'all, this is about to be fan freaking tastic when all we've had is like little sandwiches and stuff oh i'm excited Look at all this water in this ditch. Yeah. What in the world? We're trying to get a ringworm. Baby, he's trying to show you how deep it is. Good grief. Go ahead and get your ringworm, son. That, oh, because you can't get a ringworm without your shoes on. Pretty lucky we're reporting live from North Carolina's coast. <laughs> We have had great amounts of rainfall. I'm going to say, Miss Danielle, how much would you say uh, about 15 inches? Yes. I'd say about 15 yes. inches of rain. We got land playing everywhere, trees all over the place. Yes. <laughs> You're the most energetic weatherman I've ever seen. <laughs> the winds died down though, so we should be good to go. He's about an inch of rain away from a ringworm. <laughs> Day three, we put this pail out yesterday to catch some rainwater for the dogs to drink um, because it's fresh water. We put this out what time yesterday? 
yesterday afternoon. So you can get an idea how big the pail is. And that's how much water. There's a lot of water in there. Really, Rosie? <laughs> so that just shows how much it's rained since yesterday afternoon. So last night we started seeing a bunch of stuff about Lumberton. If you watch my hurricane vlog um, from Hurricane Matthew, that's where all the bad stuff went down. It was so bad. Um, that's where we got stuck for hours and hours trying to get home. A lot of roads were washed out in Robinson County, but Lumberton was, was the worst of it. Lumberton was bad. We seen some stuff on Twitter last night, Ed Piotrowski, which is the weatherman that I've been following. He's one of the only ones that I trust to watch. Um, well, have you seen all, well, you know, you wouldn't have seen it. A lot of these weather people have been putting on a, a front trying to scare people. There was two different weathermen um, on Twitter. One was kneeled down in the water to try to make it look like the water was up to his waist because you could see somebody took a picture, somebody was walking by them and you can see the man that was filming, the water was up here on him. Now it could have been a lower spot that the man was standing in, but I don't think so. Ed Piotrowski put on there last night that, um, wow, that, um, Lumberton was pretty bad. And not only that, but they were still getting rained on. They had even more rain than we did, and they're more inland. And we've had a lot of people ask us, why didn't we evacuate? And y'all, there really wasn't any... Where to go? Yeah, there wasn't, there was no rhyme or reason as to anywhere we could have went that would have been any less bad than what it was. I've had so many people talking about, why didn't you just go ahead and evacuate? I don't understand. And I'm like, first of all, it ain't for you to understand. It was our choice at the end of the day. I mean, y'all can't make decisions for me and y'all can't let me make decisions for y'all. In the trees. Even if we would have went to my parents' house, it would have been maybe worse. Now, they're not in Lumberton, but I mean, it would have been about the same as it is at our house, so there really weren't no difference. And then we would have gotten stuck there, and Cody still has to go to work, and life still has to go on, so we couldn't be stuck somewhere. But now I'm gonna tell you this. When another hurricane comes, because there's a good chance another one's gonna come, sometime, hopefully not the rest of this year. <laughs> Them linemen? Yep. All right, linemen. Let's get this power back on. Come on, Pike. Let's get the power on. Woo! That was, what was it by the time it hit us? What category was it? A one. One or two, but I think one. I'll just say, if we know that a hurricane category three or higher is going to come and hit our house, I am leaving then because if that rain and wind gets any worse than what it did for the little bit that we seen y'all the wind was terrible that first day my stomach was tore up all day long and I'm not ashamed to say that <laughs> I don't know how people gain weight during the hurricane but eating snacks because she ain't lying she ain't lying because I weren't able to keep down those snacks. So I don't know what in the world. I was barely able to eat. So keep I don't know. Keep down or keep in? Keep in. You weren't throwing up. No, we weren't throwing up. Throwing out. <laughs> Going, I know you're probably thinking, what the devil are y'all driving? Well, there's our neighbors told us there's this gas station that has gas. And if we're going to be without power for a while, we're going to need some more gas for our generator. Hopefully they got some. told us where to go so that's where we're going oh my gosh you know that place rosie we made it to the gas station and the dogs are flipping out mainly Rosie but she's been good this whole time so I really don't know what's happening she's crying a lot in the back of the truck but we're hoping that we're able to get gas because there's a million people here and I think I've seen that man's crack it went from a hundred to a million 
No, me. <laughs> but hopefully we're able to get yes. Let us pray now. Pray, Rosie. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, Rosie. Rosie, let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, please make it that we can get some gas. If you don't think we need any gas, and maybe somebody else needs it more than us, then give it to them. But if you think we need it, God, give it to us. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Rosie, did you close your eyes? Uh, no. You're supposed to close your eyes. Okay, we're going to sit here in line now. Where you're going to watch them very carefully. <laughs> Make sure nobody takes their gas. <laughs> Y'all, we were able to get gas and some groceries. Praise the Lord. So, I got some more chips because we was about out of chips. And we got some meat to throw on the grill. We're going to grill it. We got burgers and sausage. And we got hot dogs at the house. So, we're going to eat real food. Today. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't have many updates for you. It is still raining outside. We don't have power yet, um, but our, my parents do have power now. And today's mama's birthday, so that's a really good birthday gift for her. Uh, I really appreciate all the sweet messages that you guys have sent me via social media, whether it was Twitter or Instagram, or if you left me a comment on one of my YouTube videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, we all appreciate you. I don't know where Cody is. <laughs> He probably is asleep somewhere. I've been in here editing and getting some work done. Um, but we really appreciate all of you and all of the sweet things that you've said to us this past weekend. Um, all of that love does not go unnoticed. We see everything. We might not get a, the opportunity to respond to everybody now because our our family has grown so big here on social media so we don't get the opportunity to respond to everybody but know that we do see all of your sweet messages and we really appreciate it um i'm going to end the vlog here um if you want to be updated any more um past this vlog then make sure you're following me on instagram i do daily updates on there um but thank you guys for watching and um hopefully you weren't impacted by this storm as well and if you are know that you're in my prayers and i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye say bye lady say bye <laughs>